here we are day three. This is the Arc of Triumph, Triumph of Mark. Can't, I'm not even gonna try saying that in French. Um, this was to commemorate uh, Napoleon. And then right in the middle where that flame's at right there, that was a fallen soldier from World War I. And it was to commemorate for all the fallen soldiers. Um, pretty legit. It is extremely cold today. And I think the weather here is like bipolar. Yesterday it was nice and warm, hot even at times. And then today woke up and cold. Now the other thing too is, if you see me spinning around here in the back, you'll see like the street is like going like this forever there's about well if you google it if you google this area all the streets meet up to this one point in the center where this giant circle is at um, and it's a huge roundabout and just from where i'm standing at like if we were to just pull out like a, a quarter of it i could see one two three four different streets just in one quarter so i'm guessing there's 16 streets to go in or out of this center so pretty cool they do have a museum too you can get tickets but you just have to walk in uh the other thing too is don't play leapfrog or frogger trying to get across they do have a, a underground tunnel that goes through and don't go through the metro i went through the metro it took a long way there's a more direct path and you'll see it it's like it's like it's like a it, it has like a little sign there that says the the, the tunnel so yeah and it's free so if you want to take tickets and and check out the museum inside which it looks like it's gonna be pretty small i would just come outside and just like, just admire all the architecture so um yeah let's check this out Here at the catacombs pretty exciting stuff always wanted to check this off my bucket list so going down underground and it's not for the faint it's pretty it's, it's a lot of stairs so yeah let's check this place out now if you didn't know the history of the paris catacombs it started in the late 18th century when major public health problems tied to the city's cemeteries led to a decision to transfer their contents to an underground site. Paris authorities chose an easily accessible site that was at the time located outside the capital. In operation since at least the 15th century and then abandoned, these quarries were a small part of the labyrinth that extended under the city over approximately 800 hectares. The first evacuations were made from 1785 to 1787 and concerned the largest cemetery in Paris, which was closed in 1780. The tombs, common graves, and charnel houses were emptied of their bones, which were transported at night to avoid hostile reactions from the Parisian population and the church. 
The bones were then dumped into two quarry wells and then distributed and piled into the galleries by the quarry workers. And this is the tour that you see today. If you get a chance to see this, make sure you come and make an appointment. This is very highly recommended. So here we are at the Luxor Obelisk, uh, excuse for the loud noises, streets, random dude, people everywhere. Um, this thing came from Egypt and it kind of explains how they did it, how they brought it up and put it here, look how tall that sucker is. But yeah, and the other thing too is it looks like there's like tons of stuff if you see behind me some cool stuff that way and then if you see behind me again some more cool stuff that way so pretty neat we're gonna go back there and see exactly what we could find um yeah this is like super random some something from egypt here i guess with all the wars and all the stuff that people stole and you know what i mean it's things got all over the place Ooh, and here's a here's a cool thing to see so I'm gonna flip the camera over. If you look down there, that is the Arc de Triumph. De Triumph, I'm probably saying that wrong too. Um, it's way down there, I can't zoom any further. And if you look that way, there's the Eiffel Tower, which we're gonna go there later on. And then where they buried Napoleon, he's down over here somewhere too, somewhere pretty close by, so yeah so so much history just for me the biggest thing that i see is like world war ii world war one like all the battles out here uh pretty cool pretty gnarly stuff so let me know what you guys think in the comment section below so right after that luxor tower thing you could pretty much walk everywhere and anywhere here's a bunch of clips you guys could enjoy and it's gonna be pretty much the walk all the way from there. A couple things to see all the way to, uh, it's called Hotel des Invalides. Um, most people just search Les Invalables and that's it, but it's Hotel des Invalades. This is where Napoleon uh, Bonaparte is buried. I know I'm pronouncing all of that wrong, but sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, so enjoy these clips. Enjoy all the cool uh, architecture and all, man, there's just, it's a lot of, a lot of history here. So enjoy this. So that was the tomb of Napoleon. Um, pretty ginormous thing that they have there. And a couple other tombs that they have for several other people. Um, 
but pretty neat. Pretty cool how they uh, have certain things there. And yeah, I gotta say, if you guys come out here, just check it out. Like just like all the art and everything in there is just pretty amazing. So now the other thing too is what's pretty strange. Um, the sun comes up roughly around six o'clock in the morning, but it doesn't go away until like 930 at night. It's a long summer days here. Very long summer days. So not what I'm used to. Usually eight o'clock, sun's dark already in California, but here it's like 9.30 p.m. So, all right, let's check out this Eiffel Tower and let's wait till it gets dark. Let's go. So we are at the Perry Lachey, or Perry, yeah, Perry, Perry, shit, Lachey Cemetery. Um, Jim Morrison actually was buried here. A lot of uh, big name artists, celebrities, this is actually one of the most visited, I don't know if it's the most visited, but it's definitely one of the most visited cemeteries in the world because of, well, as you can see, these are big cemeteries, big headstones. Some of them are very unique and just very cool looking. It kind of, so when I was in El Salvador in 2006, it was pretty cool how the, um, how the cemeteries was just like very it just reminds me of um i don't know they're just like all piled up against each other but in el salvador it wasn't as big as this one um this one's actually very very big some of these are like cremation sites some of them are just big lots like this and like they just go for days so there's supposed to be some pretty unique ones let's go ahead and check this out and explore. And we made it to the Eiffel Tower. Check it out, guys. Whoa, that is gnarly. It's pretty big, I'm pretty close. There's a buttload of people everywhere. Beer, 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 beer. And this guy wants to sell me some beer, wines, and all kinds of goodies. But um, yeah, let me know what you guys think. It's pretty cool. Every, so the rule is every, uh, on the hour until I think it's either 11 or midnight, the first five minutes on the hour they do the little twinkly lights and stuff. Um, yeah, pretty cool. I know this is a huge bucket list for a lot of people, definitely for me. So, yeah, enjoy this.
And that's it for today's episode. There it is, the Eiffel Tower one more time. Uh, it's nuts. So they do have an elevator. If you guys could see the, some of the clips that goes all the way to the top. Pretty cool and amazing. Um, yeah, it's if, if you're here in Paris, it's like, why not? You should, you should come here to the Eiffel Tower. Now, I will say if you do want to go up there, you need tickets ahead of time. Book ahead because it does sell out. And the lines out there is crazy. They do have fences here, too. I don't know. It's kind of like some of the cars are there. There's fences right there. There's a park. But um, it's great. It's cold. It's freezing. Let me know what today's, uh, what your favorite part for today is. I still got a few more days. So let me know. Leave me a comment below. And yeah, we'll stay tuned to the next episode. You guys take care. Take care of each other. See you guys in the next one.